Let me welcome our viewers to Platform Media International Political Arena. I also want to wish our, our viewers who have been wish, uh, calling upon me to, uh, to send them our latest uh, discussions. And here we are, we are, we are on board again, and you have a very familiar face uh, as my invitee today, as my guest. And that's no other person than Mr. Ebenezer Badewa. Mr. Badewa, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Well, Mr. Ebenezer, we missed you all along. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it has been tight. COVID-19 has not helped issues at all. And it's been a while. We are happy to You're have right. you again, sir. You're right. Thank you very much. Yeah. We are looking at today the regional force in Nigeria. Uh, first of all, we, we, we remind our viewers that uh, our Nigerians have been clamoring for regional force. And uh, the Southwest governors took, it, took the bull by the horn by establishing a motekun. And people were shocked because that was a very positive surprise or negative surprise, depending on which side you are. And before that, we have Niger Delta Force, and also we have IPO. Um, Mr. Padewa, knowing what we know about Nigeria, do you think Nigerians or Nigerian government can manage a regional force? Um, based on the, thank you very much for the question, and um, uh, we thank God that Nigeria seems to be moving uh, uh, in the right direction. But unfortunately, as we all know, when the country moves maybe one step forward, they, they always go back five steps, which is very, very unfortunate for the nation Nigeria. Now, regarding if they can manage a, a, a regional force, it's just the fear of the unknown that Nigeria is kind of having as a nation because maybe because we, uh, the country is in a forced uh, marriage and the few that holds power, they are afraid of maybe the issue that happened in, the, in 1966, 67 that led to the civil war might happen again. Maybe this is the reason why they, they seem to be afraid about the, uh, the regional force, the way uh, uh, Western region or a Western state of Nigeria came about Amatekun. Actros, uh, Lagos State has last man, and there are other forces within, uh, maybe we call it force or uh, neighbor, neighborhood watch in Lagos State that has been functioning very well. So, but if we look at the regional issue, they try to tackle a common uh, uh, goal. And the issue is about this um, S-men, the abuse of S-men, uh, uh, killing people in their farm, raping people in their farm, kidnapping people in the region. Now, there has been always fear in the country that if they have a state police, the, the, the governors might abuse it and turn it to a political weapon and guess their opposition just like the way the federal government is also turning the police, the DSS, against their opposition. So in order not to go that route of state police, then they came up with this regional police with a, a common command, a commander force that will, that, will, that will monitor the activities of this Amatepo. But it doesn't sit well with the federal government because they are afraid of, okay, these people become uh, united on a force it will, it will be easy for them to break away from the country. So I think this is the fear that the federal government is, is, uh, is exercising. But if we look at it very well, the problem we have in that country mainly is because we don't have structure. Even the structure that we have in place concerning the policies and, uh, 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 that, that were supposed to help to govern the country, we are not implementing it. By constitution, the federal government doesn't have the unilateral right to appoint the IG. It was supposed to be the collective of the, of the 36 states in the country, according to the constitution. 
for them to come together and have a meeting almost every year to, to decide what is affecting the police force. But today we see what is happening. What we borrow from the military regime is what the civilian government is practicing. We are not following the constitution and this is why there are so many fears in the country. So the, only the, Fed, uh, the president can appoint and fire uh, inspector general of police. That was not supposed the way it should be. So this is why there is fear everywhere, why they can't uh, entertain uh, a regional police or even a vibrant uh, state police. But it, when, we call, when we say policing or security, security is by the community. When we look at what we've seen in the advanced, advanced country, we find out that a, a police is being uh, localized and the police has relationship with the community and it makes it very easy for them to police the country. So it's my prayer that Nigeria will advance to that level where we will know our right from our left so that we can govern that country uh, uh, properly and secure the country properly. Okay, Mr. Badewa, uh, you see, in other countries, it is state police. Now, we are talking about regional police. <laughs> Amoteku by the Southwest governors. I pub, well, it's under the, maybe the eastern part of Nigeria. No, IPOP is not a police. IPOP is just an agitat agitating Agita group. Yes, they are agitating. IPOP, IPOP have not named theirs. Yeah. I have no they regional are just an force agitating yet. A group from, okay. uh, yeah. Before, so they are not police at all. Okay, they are not police. They are not a uh, force yet. No, but they have some kind of a group for agitate. They have a force to agitate, right? Yeah, and it's under the umbrella of IPOP. IPOP, yeah. They are assuming that they have their own regional force too. That will that will come into existence sooner than later because they want to imitate uh, the Southwest governments. And then you remember be, during a year ago, China, we have uh, the Niger Delta Force which again, it took the intervention of the President of the Federal Republic for them to return their arms. They, they were, those ones those one were not only agitating, they were, they were using force. They were not agitating peacefully, they were using force. Now, you go to the north, you have Miyati Allah. You have a real world positive force, whatever their name is. There are a lot of them in the north. Middle bed, we perhaps that. I also have Nigeria, Nigeria force too. Yes, Nigeria Nigeria. Police. I also have on the grapevine the, 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 uh, the Niger Delta now have started something called CRAB. CRAB force. CRAB is taken from the states constituting the Niger Delta. Cross River, Rivers. Uh, A is for, I think, uh, wherever. Aquibom. Bomb. Um, B is for Bayesa, E is Edo State, a crab, crab force. So it, for the Niger Delta. So those ones, I got that from the grapevine. So if we have this, we are not talking about state police and regional force. Is this not a, a, a prelude to secession? Is it not going to lead to a force that we uh, galvanize the agitation for secession? Now, I think one thing that we need to sit down and look properly is what are the root cause of all this uh, agitation for regional uh, forces. Now, the Amateku has been watered down now. Amateku is no long, longer a regional force. They only have a, a homogeneous name, Amateku, across West, uh, Western Nigeria now. But the commander is no longer a central uh, commander. Now Amateku has been departmentalized to each state. So each state now handle Amateku. That's why a lot of people are crying now that because of the nature of, uh, of, 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 of Western Nigeria, what affect one state in the Western affect the other. So if there is a crime committing a, a force, a, a group like maybe the Meti Allah or so or the the, 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 the kidnappers, if it's happening in, the, in, in you know, those states, for instance, and maybe at the time they get wind of it and they are chasing them, they run to uh, maybe a kitty state. If they have this common uh, uh, force, the Amateku, it's easy for them to communicate across and say, 
this so 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 and so people is already here because they are under one commander they can apprehend them on time but now when they, now that they have departmentalized them it's, a, it's it's difficult for them to synchronize their effort in order to arrest a common uh, offender across the uh, across the border uh, the border so this is the fear that the federal government has uh, gone into and they have instructed all the state to, to, to dismantle the central command to make it a state force. And this is what is happening now in the Western state. It's no longer the, the regional force the way it used to be. The only thing that still keep them as a common store is the name, Amateku, across Western, uh, Western Nigeria. So, because, uh, uh, okay, now it is said that to those who make a peaceful change impossible, they make a uh, violent change in, uh, very, very uh, possible. Now, um, most Nigerians have feared uh, the insecurity in that cut across uh, the uh, landscape of Nigeria. People are being kidnapped. Um, and it, there is one finger pointing to one, all fingers are pointing to one direction. F headsmen, and the headsmen are coming from nowhere, but from the north. And the government is not doing it, anything uh, substantial to, to assuage the feelings of people who are, um, are claiming that all these nefarious activities are caused by the headsmen from the north. Now, for instance, if these people react, given the insecurity across the landscape, would there not be what you would call pogrom? For instance, every northern person in the southwest would be a suspect. Every 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 southwest person in the north would be a suspect. I see a situation where it will lead to a pogrom. What do you think? Yeah, this is uh, this has come of the area where. We, everybody in, in, in their own co uh, constituency in the country, need to communicate with their uh, member of House of Rep, uh, the member of Senate, for them to see what they have to do to arrest this country the way it's going. Because we know we have different tribes, we have different languages in the country. We believe it together in, 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 in unison for all these years. But when there is a problem coming from one single uh, direction or single tribe, and it's like they've been encouraged by the, by the central government, it's a challenge. Now, I know it is the agitation of the citizens in some of these states that encourage the issue of uh, 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 community uh, security that they are organizing now. But the federal government, I don't see why they should be afraid because most of the governors that are governing the country right now, they, they are not even out for the country to be to disintegrate, uh, disintegrate. Because if it does, they're not going to benefit from the, uh, from the uh, region uh, government that will happen. Maybe take, for instance, uh, the Biafra eventually get their republic, or the Odudu the get their, uh, their own republic. The current politicians in the system, they, they're not going to, even though they will come in and try to play their game with their money and everything, but it won't be a business as usual when they are in the central government. And the same thing with even the royal fathers in most of these uh, uh, regions, they will prefer us to be in the central government, uh, uh, in, in the government as Nigeria, than having a regional uh, system. Because if we have a region, a, a republic, uh, each of these uh, uh, region like Oduduwa, of the Briafia and so on, the, 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 the first class royal father, they know their income will be reduced. Their influence will be reduced. So the, the agitation here and there, it's not something that we will achieve maybe in the next 10, 20, 20 years. Because there are a lot of people within this region that doesn't want to hear anything like uh, uh, all this uh, regional agitation to come into be. And these are the people making the decision for the country. Or is it the senator in, uh, in, in, in Abuja, with all they are making now, that will be expecting uh, Nigeria uh, 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 to break out of uh, Nigeria? Or even the Metiala or the Arewa people also? You think they want? No. The elite in Nigeria doesn't want the country to break up. So I don't know why the federal government is afraid for 
a, a, a proper security from for this uh, for this region with all the mayhems that are happening in the, in, in the in the country. You said this now. Is it a, 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 it is my suspicion now that Amoteko was from to spur up discussion about regional force. What do you think? Yeah, because it's one of the most organized uh, uh, regional security so far. Like the, the Sharia law, the Sharia law was strictly for the North and it was to enforce Sharia stuff. People in the West knew about this. They didn't bother about it. But now that they, the, the, the region is becoming being threatened, and this is how they came up with this idea. And it was some of the uh, local people, the way they want Amateku to come up is not the way it actually came up. They want Amateku to come up by their Bekoyas. The, the local people, they want the governors and the, and the, uh, the, the others to give them the, the go ahead to protect the region. But the state government, they are jacket, and the federal government further are jacket. So the agitation has not stopped. This is why you see more and more people now talking about Oduduwa Republic. If they have accepted the Amateku the way they plan it to be, the province, the, most of this region would have been protected, and there will be no further agitation of maybe some of this uh, region should break out of Nigeria. Is is a regional force? Is it guaranteed under the Nigerian Constitution, Mr. Badewa? Is it not an illegal illegality? I, I don't. I, you see, when when we talk about security, you you understand? There is even during the uh, military regime, if you remember, then they they posted most of the uh, uh, commissioners and most senior men in the army. I think maybe from. Uh, Inspector and above, they say, they always send them to their uh, state of origin to manage the state in order to quell because they know the nook and corner of, of their own state too. That was under Babangida regime. Under right? Babangida regime, and if we look at it, then crime was kind of a little bit coming down after the era of the Anini and other kind of stuff. But what we are doing now that they, they start posting somebody from the north who knows nothing about the south southwest, he doesn't even know anything about the, uh, the, the royal uh, father who and who to talk to in order to get something to, to be corrected. Look at what happened in Lagos when the Badu boys was terrorizing uh, uh, Ikorodu. Ikorodu. At the end of the day, they, they ran to the, uh, the, um, uh, this guy, the Ghani Adams uh, boys, um, the, the, the force that uh, Obasanjo just stopped there. What, what are they called in the Western uh, Nigeria? The yeah, Ghani Adams. I remember that, yes. Yeah, the, the Ghanaian dance boys. Well, the, yeah. Where the people they ran to, even the police force themselves, the commissioner, has to invite them, you, you understand, in order to get rid of this uh, 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 Badu boys in, in, in Korodu. So we meaning to say that the police chief doesn't even know the terrain. So this is some of the things that is agitating for a regional police whereby these people will be able to secure the area uh, uh, perfectly. Now they were talking about the integration of the police force into this uh, uh, Amateku, which is nothing wrong in there. You understand me now? But let the people secure their area. Not, don't bring a foreigner so, to come and I've been in them. Canada for a while. Let me ask you a question. Supposing there's a, there's a disagreement between two regions and the two forces clash, what in your, what, what by your recommendation or expectation, what do you think will happen? Will that not lead to him, mayhem? Who, who, we, who, we, who will serve as an arbiter in case of two regions clashing? Now, uh, I know in, in the provinces here, right? The country as a whole, has the ROCMP. Yes. And it's from this ROCMP that most municipal that cannot uh, draw a, a, a train or finance their, their police force. Their local police. With, with uh, local police with the training that they needed, the first thing they will do, they, they, they will go to, like going to an agency. They will go and rent or hire uh, an ROCMP that will form as a local police. Take, for instance, 
In, Su in Suri now, we have the ROCMP that is policing the, the, this uh, 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 municipal. Now, you go to New West, New West has their own New West police force. You go to, uh, anyway, there are no force anyway, we are the one calling them force in, in Nigeria. You go to Vancouver, they have their own police uh, uh, body there. Now, if there is any issue, there is the federal police force under ROCMP that will, that will come and intervene. Or that might that they are the agency that also supply the, uh, the, the, uh, the Suri police force. But they have their own command, they have whom they report to. So if you come to the uh, area where the federal government has to intervene, the federal government will intervene and everything will be taken care of. And uh, this is why we call these places a developed uh, 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 country. There has, there has not been issues um, like that. Yeah, I'm asking you now, what will happen if Nigeria, if that happens in Nigeria? Does Nigeria have the, uh, the, the structure? You, you see, why do we have the, why do, why do we have the House of Rep? Why do we have the Senate? Mm -hmm. We are not, we are not so, as a country, there is no country that is stagnant. There has to be continuous improvement on the constitution. If there is any issue that is affecting the security of the country or the well-being of the people that has not been uh, 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 written in the constitution, then they're supposed to create a new bill that will be passed into law and that, that will go to, goes into the constitution from 10 to 10. So you what see, there is... You see, it's a very funny thing. Nigeria, <laughs> even the representative we just mentioned, the senators, <laughs> Uh, some of them think first about where they come from. National interest is at the backbone of all this report. Uh, if you don't have national interest, how can you make laws that will sustain national interest? That's the fear. That's the fear in Nigeria. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry to even say that uh, they think of where they come from first. Many of them doesn't think of where they come from first. They think about themselves first. They think about themselves or what they can acquire from the government and their political party that they are affiliated to. That's their second thinking. No, no, they don't even think about their riding and their constituent. Even they don't think about their world, talk less of their constituency. If they're actually thinking about it, how do you expect a senator or a member of House of Rep being in, in Abuja for almost four years for them not to visit their, their, their constituency? Some of them doesn't even have a constituency office. So how do you, how do you claim they think about my, their- my fear, my fear is that this regional force is going to be indigenous, correct? Will, will uh, for instance, Amoteku recruit anybody from the east, correct? Or anybody from the north into Amoteku, will they? No, they can't, they can't because this is a regional, uh, 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 the, the people, you see, this is why they call it local force. They, they, they have to recruit people that understand the language of the people in the area. So how are we sure about their judgment? If, for instance, somebody who is not from uh, the Southwest, uh, he's, um, he's, they, they are persecuting such a person, how can we expect a fair judgment? You, you know when they were having the meeting, even the, the Igbos and the Aousas in the area, they invited all of them. And they told them that if you have lived in this region or in the town or in the state for, for about 15 years and you can speak the local language, you are qualified to join Amateku. That's what they said. So it's so, not about. So, in essence, it's not an indigenous uh, uh, force. They can recruit anybody outside the place. Okay, let's take, a, take for instance, if you, have, if you are an immigrant in Canada, and you live here for 15 years, if you really want to naturalize, you are, no longer, you are not even expected to be uh, a, a landed immigrant. You are expected to be a citizen after 15 years. So automatically, this is, your, this is a place where you live in for continuous yeah, 15 years. Yeah, that is my fear. Because if we live in Surrey, for instance, you can yeah. recruit anybody, and you know that that person uh, will pass a fair judgment. All right, but in Nigeria, we we know where we all come from. So no, no. if if for instance all American ones recruits are all from the southwest, and there's somebody from the east, 
and who is arrested or who is facing persecution by these uh, Mutekun uh, recruits or force or from the north. With what I'm trying to say, will they get a fair treatment because they are not from, because it, if they are not from that, um, that uh, geographical region, will they get a fair uh, hearing, fair treatment? That's what we're saying. No, Amateku, the function of Amateku is to, re, is to arrest, right? Yes. And hand over to the police. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Because I yeah, when 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 the the functions of this force is not defined, they will go beyond the boundaries of definition. It no, does. They, it, 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 you see, it, it, this is where uh, 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 structures has to be in place. When there is a structure with a written process of chain of command, they cannot go beyond their uh, uh, their their speculated. Uh, uh, and that's why we're discussing this in the studio because there was uh, Amoteku just came out as if a boat out of the blues. There was no structure before they no, came out. That was then. That was then. Each of yeah. the state, each of the state, already defined and they pass it into law in each of the state. So the legislator have sat. They they draw out the the the, the law that is that 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 will guide Amoteku. And they mm -hmm. pass it into law in each of the states. So, but they, with their relationship with the federal government, is a, there's a kind of conflict, correct? No, there is no conflict because the, the is it was spelled out that Amatekun is to protect the people. They are not supposed to stay on the street to be stopping who, uh, who is who, uh, any vehicle or so. They are supposed to go into the jungle if they, where there is any issue and they are being called, arrest the person and hand it over to the police. Because the so, country so is it, will, it be a, now. will it be a fair game if, for instance, I pub or in eastern states of Nigeria have their own lo uh, uh, local, uh, what I call security force? Niger, that are the same thing. We can't talk about the north now because north has a lot, which has been terrorized, which has been alleged to be terrorizing people. Meyati Allah, we have uh, Arewa positive for whatever. So, so it's a fair, you, can you consider that a fair game if everybody have their own uh, uh, regional force? You, in the first place, if the federal government are doing their duty the way it should be, there should be no reason, there, there will be no need for uh, uh, trying to create a, a regional police or otherwise. But because they are not doing it now, they're trying to com complement it. And this thing has been happening for a very long time. You understand me now? You mm -hmm. remember possibly when you were in, in Lagos, even the street that you live in, if you guys cannot hire security to man, to man the, the, the community at night or create some kind of gate and so on with your hard earned money that you will contribute as a neighbor to do neighbor, neighborhood watch, then each landlord will take turn every night to do their own self-security. Is that not what has been happening in the country? So in those days when you arrest anybody, what do you do? You, the, maybe the highest you do, you detain them to in the morning. And when it is done, you hand it over to the police if they cannot justify their reason of being in that area. And if there, they actually, there have been some excesses, though. People yeah, keep. Then one, that's why we are human beings, because in those forces, they, 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 most of these things that people organize them, there was no rule governing them. Because the, the people just saw the, 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 the vacuum and they tried I remember, to remember I remember I, that brings me to, to remember something like called Bakasi in the eastern part of Nigeria those days. Yeah. And the, the serious aggregation that those people crossed the line by taking the laws into their hands. You remember that? Because, because there was no rule guiding them. Now, Amateko has been one of the most organized and, uh, 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 and professionally put together. And this is why there is tension all over the place. If they have gone the way the, 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 um, uh, the other security has been organizing themselves without publicizing it or even creating it to be a professional body that they put together, maybe there won't be any noise like this. So um, it is from what you are saying, you are for um, a regional regional security body like a Motekun. We cannot call it force now because no. they are not. Okay. Yeah, regional body. You see, necessity has created it. You know the, the number of people 
that has been kidnapped in the, in the Southwest. You know the number of people that has been killed. You know most of, most of our family members here in, 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 in abroad who, who are bound not to go to Nigeria again because their security cannot be guaranteed. So all these things are some of the reasons that causes it. You call police, the police will tell you oh, they don't have enough gas in their, in their vehicle in order to attend to your call. And that's if you, if you get anybody to call. So all these things has been an issue. People can't farm anymore. And the government, the federal government is telling people to go back to, to farming. And the people who farm, somebody will bring cow to, to, to run down the whole farm overnight. So all these are challenges that is begging for answer. And this is why the people have tried to organize themselves with, uh, with, the, with the state government so that they can create security, so that the people won't go hungry because the, 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 the food is a vital uh, uh, issue that need to be produced for the country. Now look at the Western Nigeria now. The border has been closed now for going to a year. And now food can not come in and the people who are in there, they cannot farm. If they go to farm, they get kidnapped or they get raped, get beaten up. And whatever they planted on their, on their, on their, on their, on their farm, overnight cow will come and, 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 and graze on all of them. So how long would they continue to go like that? So these are some of do the you think? Do you think, Mr. Barrowa, there's a, the hand of, uh, there's what call, you call the, is it the voice of Cain and the hand of, or uh, the voice of Abel, or the, or the hand of, of Cain? How do, you, how do you say that? That the federal government has a kind of support for all this. Do you think there's a hand of federal government in this? What do you think? Be sincere with me. No, like when you look at what is going on, what did IPOP did? IPOP live in their own area. They didn't terrorize the Igbo. They didn't do anything. They didn't terrorize other tribes. They, they, they proscribed them as a terrorist. Now look at the people that, came, that are coming from the north on a daily basis, kidnapping people, destroying people's farm, and even coming out boldly to tell people that, yes, because they, are, they, they came out for vengeance. Look at what is happening in South Carolina and so many other places. Still, this so-called Metiala group has not been declared as a terrorist organization. So what, 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 is it because the, uh, the, the president was one time uh, their, president, uh, their chairman, or is it because the president himself is also a cow rearer? Is that why these people are kept to not to be proscribed as a terrorist? Do you, do you think uh, Metiala, these activities of the headsmen, will be a thing of the past by the time Buhari is out of power? Well, it's so, you see, this is the way, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Boko Haram started. If they are not tail, if they are not curtailed right now, possibly it might be too late for whoever that come into power to be able to curtail them. Because the, the promise that we had was that because it was a former uh, army general, as soon as he come in, that would be the end of Boko Haram. But look at it today. The whole of northern, uh, western, uh, no, uh, northwest is being saturated with uh, Boko Haram. So many local government now in Boko Haram, it, it, it's, it's, it's not functioning. A lot of uh, members of House of Assembly now, they can't even go to their constituency. They can't go to their riding. We saw what happened to the governor of Bronu State last time. Okay, you go to Sanfara. It's nothing to write home about. Even in Niger State, look at what happened in Abuja uh, neighborhood few 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 weeks ago. So all this thing is spreading by the day, and nobody is doing anything about it. So it has resulted that you know what? We have the right to secure ourselves. Everybody has right to secure themselves, and this is what people in, in, in some of this southern region or western region are now trying to do because they want to protect themselves protect their land and protect the, the life of their, of their family. So the federal government has to rise up and do something before it's too late. We all enjoy one Nigeria. Everybody love one Nigeria. Those of us that are abroad, we love one Nigeria. We enjoy, we like it. But the federal government should please and do something and it should not disintegrate us. We love one Nigeria to be together. So it should do something before it's too late. Thank you, Mr. Valewa. Uh, we appreciate you. Um, thank you for um, addressing this. Uh, we, we, we have come up with the, the idea of uh, Motel Kun and let us discuss the pros and cons. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, viewers will be happy because you gave them a very informed opinion about the regional uh, security outfits that have been um, 
that all over the place because of this security in Nigerian uh, landscape. And I want to thank you for, for honoring our invitation. And I guess we need to make this very constant because viewers have been asking me about you. I know that you were, you were a very constant feature in the uh, recent past until COVID-19 hit. And I want to thank you for coming to the program. Thank you for having me. Viewers, that is Platform Media International Political Arena. Our usual guest, Mr. Ebenezer Badiwa, who is based in British Columbia, Canada. And from our studios in Canada, in British Columbia, Canada, my name is Joe Ezele, signing off on Political Arena and saying have a good night rest. Bye-bye.